Um, I was saying how um, being in front of the camera is really difficult. Yeah. I don't even like take like pictures and stuff. I'm not one of these types. Like if you see my Facebook, it's like four pictures. And even I'll pull them down. I didn't know how I knew, but I just always knew that it was drawing. That was me. As well as most comfortable. Do you remember the first time you drew something and like you got like oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what was that? It was in nursery and I had a teacher called Miss Bullock and she said to my mum, Oh, you've got to give the child. Because the other kids would come to me to draw their stickmen. From that young, I would just see things what like it's like other people couldn't see. So like when you draw your stick man, I'll be like, wait, but stick man you know, we're not just eyes and a dot and a, we're eyes and a dot and we've got eyebrows and we've got features and we've got all these things and I'll draw it. Yeah, so the idea of the book came about from Ed, you know, being around my house a while ago and saying we wanted to collaborate on something. Ed said it could be called Ed Sheeran plus Philip Buta equals music over art, which I thought was pretty cool. And I visualise it to be something like this, but this is like much, this has grown a lot. Hi, I'm Emma Smith, one of the designers from Smith & Gilmore that worked on the Ed Sheeran book. Um, our company's been going for about 20 years. Um, we do a lot of publishing work. Um, we had the pleasure of working with Hannah and Octopus on this book. It was a very um, organic sort of project because it was almost like a jigsaw puzzle. The, unlike some projects where you used to have every, all the material at the start, um, with, with this one it was very much like things were coming in and we'd sort of layer it and develop it. This one was an experiment. Um, I wanted it to feel like very um, you know those college years where you're using all those materials and you're experimenting and I wanted to do an image like that as if it was that time you know, because this, I guess this would, would have been the time where Ed should have gone to college but um, he wasn't, he was touring This one was done at my house This is, um, uh, it was on a carbon paper and uh, Ed was singing it's really young though, doesn't it? It's really young. It's, when, you, when I went back over it, it's, it's funny because like, I feel, you forget how someone's changed so much and then when you see it in the art, you're like, oh. Because you'll see photos of Ed or footage and, but you know, but I didn't really notice how much he changed till I look at the art and I'm like, wow, he's really grown. Yeah, change. we ended up, we originally had that image on the back cover and then we ended up changing it to this one, which was, um, no, it was Ed's preference, actually. I've always put the eyes in last. I said it in the book as well, like, I don't like them looking at me. What was it like working with Ed on this morning, actual artwork? When I was the first person to, to draw for what draw? The, the, the book. He's great. He's, he's always great. Like. He, he doesn't take it for granted, you know? He's not like, oh yeah, I'm the star anymore. He's like, he's just cool. And he's very respectful, very, you know, very kind. He just really trusts me to do what I do and he lets me do what I do and he gives me, like, freedom to do it and it's great to work that way. Someone to trust you that much, you know? And, um, I love working with him, I really do. Don't be afraid to like fail and um, when you do work, don't feel that you have to be like anyone else or you know, if there's popular work, don't feel that you have to be like that, you know, just do what comes from your heart, you know, in your soul. <laughs>